people. Welcome back. Part 4. And this will probably be the final part. As if I get any more comments or anything, I'll probably just reply to them by commenting. Because at this point, uh, this should be the end. And uh, hopefully this will be the shortest part. But uh, in today's uh, episode, uh, we pretty much have two lists. Pretty much two people's lists. I'm going to go down their entire list and uh, give my opinion about it. And like I said, to tell you the truth so far... No one has caught me off guard. No one at all. And I, I seriously thought that maybe I was missing something. But literally, you guys, you guys, hey, maybe I got it. But so far, nothing has been like, oh, wow, I forgot about that card. Wow, all right. You know, none of them so far. You know, so far, I've looked at everybody's, everybody's, and I'm just like, mm-hmm, yep, I, I can see that. I can see what you're going with that. I can see, I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and go down two people's lists. We have uh, Spoon Flaps, and we have Georgie Markov. So, uh, I want this video to last long enough to be, you know, a video, but I don't want to last too long, like, you know, I'm shooting for like 20 minutes, like huge. So, we're gonna go ahead and get it started so we don't take too long. So, starting off with Spoon Flaps, he has Jijin Releaser Rituals Forbidden. I mean, how many times do I gotta talk about this goddamn car? Everybody, it, it's funny because it's interesting that almost everybody's in agreement about this car. Like, there's really nothing that's even worthy of being banned but that, so. Um, yeah, you know, I talked about it, Rituals don't need it. You don't need it. You don't, you don't need this card, like, this blatant card that's just for Rituals that pretty much says that your opponent can't play Yu-Gi-Oh! We already seen last format that the power of not being able to spell someone with the triple vanities is just too much, so, no. No, and uh, there's a difference between, uh, Releaser and Vanities, you only need one Releaser. You go ahead, wall of chains in that Releaser, then banish it for, uh, your tribute for your ritual, and bam, there you go. So, you, you only need one, so, yeah, there's no choice but to ban it. Sorry. Alright, and that's literally the only card that he has banned. It's totally fine. Next, he has Limited. Uh, he has Shree. Shree? Hmm. Uh, maybe? Maybe that wouldn't be a terrible one. I can see because, you know, it's like the whole tribute for your uh, warrior. And majority of the time you're doing warriors, you know, you're summoning... Who, who's warriors? Uh, Trish. I think, I think Brownick is ritual, but people don't usually summon him. So mostly it's like the whole ritual for Trish, Brownick, and then I think... Who's the other warrior? Is it Unicorn? No, I think Unicorn is a spellcaster. Who the fuck is the other warrior? I'm not sure. But, you know, and then when it's in the grave, you get to go ahead and get your cert. Yeah, it, it, sure, it, I, I, you know what? That, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, of course, I already said the Necros are still being pretty good in the LCG. And uh, right now, if we were just to copy off of what they have right now, Necros would still be good. I talked about that in part three, the last video. And uh, that might just be a pretty good hit. You know, we have triple Rota and triple Street, and, you know, they're not going to get hit Rota. So, you know, Street might be the... Uh, you know, a fine hit, you know, I think with Bionic, Unicorn, Cycle, Shriant, Nanju, I think just completely lowering their consistency might just be key to go ahead and uh, stopping uh, Necros from being, because that's really the one of the best things that makes them stand apart is, uh, yeah, just just the consistency. So Shriant, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Alright, next you have uh, Star Sarah Sovereign T. He just put Sovereign, Sovereign T. Uh, I agree. Yep, set precedence off of the OCG, and like I said, you don't have to hit Scepter. Once you hit Sovereign T, the engine's done. Well, if you leave Scepter at 3, then hey, if you want to go ahead and make a Star Surf engine, I mean, you only have one Sovereign T, but hey, you still got Triple Scepter, and that's your Searcher, so there you go. So Star Seraphs, yeah. It's like the whole debate between uh, Monolith and, uh, and, uh, oh my god, Monolith and Artifact Sanctum. I was like, I almost forgot the name of that card. It's been a while. It's been a cool minute. Hello? So, uh, yeah. Just like, which card do you hit? It's definitely Sovereignty. Was, you, like I said, you wouldn't even do the engine if it wasn't for uh, Sovereignty. If Sovereignty was that one, tell me, would you run triple uh, Scepter and one Sovereignty? Nah, get out of here. All right, next you have Tribe Infecting Virus. This card could probably come off ban, but I have no precedence of it. Like I said, it's not here in the OCG. I mean, it's not here in the OCG. It's not here in the TCG. It's not there in the OCG. And, you know, when it comes to destruction, it seems like we would have done it first. You know, we have double Dark Hole and Regeki. You know, they have Regeki banned and only one Dark Hole. So, uh, but I guess they have, like, triple Torrental, I think. So, um, you know, with all this destruction, it's surprising that they haven't done Tribe Infected. I mean, over there, it's probably understandable because, you know, Neptibus and all. But here, I don't know. But I can't, I can't say that that's card. I can't, you know. 
Could it come off banned? Yeah, but do I think it's gonna come off banned? I have no precedent, so I'm not even gonna, you know, waste my breath talking about it or saying anything. Next, you have Necros of Unicorn. I already talked about that. Set precedent, and that's a fine hit. Go ahead and lower the consistency of the, uh, of the rank four plays. You know, and so I'm wondering if you bam the Jin, do you really have to hit Unicorn? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe they, maybe they also hit Unicorn to lower the consistency of the gym play, because then you'd only have one Unicorn. But with the high consistency and your such ability, you can just grab that one Unicorn, and they only need to make one Malala Chain to send the one to Jin. so... Alright, uh, next, uh, he has, uh, Instafusion hit. I already talked about this when it comes to Nana, I doubt they're gonna go ahead and preemptively hit it. I think they're just gonna let him go for one, just because when they look at the top packs, there's not a lot that can take advantage of the power of noted. It's not like we have Shock Master, it's not like we have Infinity, so I think they're probably just gonna let it go. <clears throat> they're gonna keep it. Uh, Instafusion on three, note in sell all the turns, and then after the list after that, they'll probably hit Instafusion just like what they did with the, the Star Seraphs. They released them, they made their money off of it, and then they're going to go ahead and hit it. Simple. So, uh, because he has Instafusion limited to one, he unbanned Thousand Hyper Strike. You can't do that. Instafusion has to be banned. See, the problem with that is that Thousand Hyper Strike doesn't have to be summoned properly, obviously, by the fact that you can summon off of Instafusion. So, despite the fact that it's going to be destroyed during the end phase, it doesn't have to be summoned properly. So, I can go Instafusion, summon Thousand Hyper Strike, take your monster. So, that's already you know, just a one for one. That's I'm zeroing out already because I'm taking your monster during the end phase. My Thousand Hyper Strike is going to die, killing your monster as well. And it doesn't have to be summoned properly. So, you know, popular cards like Call of the Haunted and Oasis. Could be simply used with thousand hour strike. Go call it hunted some thousand hour strike. Now I'm not gonna be short during the end phase. I have my effect, and I'm just a fully powered thousand hour strike. So, yeah, and it's all because of freaking instant diffusion. Because I simply just summon it from my deck like that. So a thousand hour strike comes off ban. It's, it's it. I mean, yeah, ban instant diffusion is gonna have to be banned because you only need one. You know, uh, and clearly, as you can tell, uh, even with instant diffusion at one in the OCG, thousand hour strike is still banned. So. You know, when you sit down and really think about it, Thousand Eye Strike is a very, very powerful card. And even if and you don't have to summon it properly, it makes it even better. So, there you go. So, that is all Spoon Slap's limited card. So, we're going to go and move on to the semi-limited. So, starting off, we have uh, Dandelion. Uh, could Dandelion? I, I was actually sitting down thinking about it. I'm like, what's up with Dandelion? Like, that card's been at one forever. They pretty much gave almost all the plant stuff back. You know, like, uh... uh Lone Fires back up at three, Spores unbanned, Glow Bulbs unbanned, you know. And the plant stuff is pretty much here, but Dandelion's kind of still just sitting at one, you know. I really sat down and thought about it, I'm just like, I mean, it just summons tokens, you know. I mean, at one point, even a uh, Scapegoat was oh, at one, and now it's at three, you know. I have no idea what Dandelion bones. Again, I have no precedence at one here, it's at one there, so, I, you know. If they do do it, it would probably just be a curveball that would catch me off guard, but, you know, I wouldn't be too, uh, surprised. I'd just be like, okay, that's fine. Didn't see it coming because there's no precedence, but that's fine. Uh, next we have Insector Hornet. That card could probably, that card, I think it's probably going to go up to three. Uh, they tried it in the OCG and nothing, so they're probably just going to bring it here. You know, Hornet's not the problem card, it's definitely Dragonfly. Dragonfly is the dumb one, so, you know, if you want to have Triple Hornet, hey, more power to you. It's not going to change much. So, uh, yeah. I would, I would probably see that card going to three. Next you have Grand Mole. Well, I talked about Grand Mole. Grand Mole's not, is not bad enough to go up to two. Like, that just increases the consistency of Grand Mole. Like I said, Grand Mole's an on and off card just like Compulse. If Compulse is good, then Grand Mole's good too. So, this may not be the format for him right now, but, you know, think about it. If Necros kind of fell off and, you know, top decks were like Shadals and like Teller Knights, then Grand Mole would be great. You just go ahead and Grand Mole that fucking, uh, XC monster. Just, or that fusion monster. Power. Alright, next we have uh, Darkstrike Fighter. I don't know what's up with this card either, you know? I, I thought Darkstrike Fighter was going to go up to 2 or 3 eventually, just like what they do with Goryo Garden, but Darkstrike Fighter is still sitting at 1. So, I have no idea, and I think it's still sitting at 1 in the OCG as well. I'm not completely positive on that, but I want to say this. So, I don't know, even with the Serata and it's not being good and no one's playing it, I guess they're like, no, no, you're not going to get multiple Darkstrike Fighters and burn your opponent 3 times like that. Like, no. Like, okay, so... Uh, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Dark Draft Fighter went up, but I wouldn't be surprised if it stayed at one as well. Alright, next you have Gold Sarcophagus. No. No. Gold Sarcophagus is good no matter what. Like, it's literally a two-turn get any card from your deck. Like, that's power. That's, oh, that's always been power. You know, uh, it's a zero out, you just gotta wait two turns, and you get any card from your deck, like, 
Mm-mm-mm. It's not even like a uh, different dimension capsule where it sits on the field if you're playing MSTZ. Like, no. You play it, you get your card, no. Power. Uh, even when the Dragon Rose are taking advantage of it, that's when they got back into awareness, but uh, as Konami realized, because it's been hit previously, uh, Gold Sarcophagus is just a powerful card, and it should stay at one. You know? it, Gold Sarcophagus is worthy at its spot at one. Alright, next you got Monster Gate. Uh, like I said, I probably think this card's gonna go up to two, uh, I'm not sure, two or three. Depends. It really does. I think OCG tried that too, and then they moved it up to three. So I'm not sure if we're just gonna copy that, or we're just gonna be like, all right, well, OCG has it at three, let's push it three. You know, we're pro- promoting uh, Infernoids anyway. I don't know. And then uh, you have Torrential Tribute. No, no. Keep all of them cards at one. Bottomless Compulse, uh, Torrental, uh, Solemn Morning, Ring of Destruction. They're all ones, all ones, because they're all powerful in their own ways. So, uh, you know, we have enough destruction. You have Double Dark Hole and Regeki, for goodness sake. So no, Torrental's fine at one. And Torrential is probably arguably the strongest one just because you can play it during your opponent's turn. So, you know, if your opponent's pushing for an OTK and they're going to get you with the OTK, Dark Hole and Regeki are going to save you. But Torrential, yeah, that can get them. So, yeah. All right, so those are all your cyber limited. So let's move on to unlimited. Uh, first, we have Card Trooper. I wouldn't be surprised, like I said. It really depends on how Konami TCG feels about, you know, Troop Doop Scoop. Uh, in the OCG, I believe Card Trooper went up to three, but well, I don't know. I don't know. So... I can't say anything about that. If it does, okay, but if it doesn't, no surprise. Uh, Chaos Rusher, no. no. Chaos Rusher has been at 2 for forever, and, you know, we tried it at 3, and we put it back down to 2, we put it at 1, and, you know, it's it's 2. It's a 2 card. That card at 2, be off at 1, and that's where it's just going to sit. There's no reason to even move it. Alright, next, Glow Bump. I'm not sure with this one either. I thought they were going to move up Glow Bump, I thought they were going to just unlimit it, because you can only use the, uh, Effect only once per duel, but I guess they're like, well, you know, it is like a tuner or something. I have no idea. You know, I just like, I thought it was gonna move to three, still at one. I don't know. I don't know. So, I guess they just maybe want to keep it there. So, I don't know. Next, Tragodia. Tragodia is just dead too. Tragodia is more, it's, uh, more powerful than Gorus because not only can you play back row, but it's multiple effects. Go ahead and, you know, take one, the, you know, discard. A monster the same level take on your opponent's monster and copy that level too. You know, Tragodi is worthy at two. It's it's much more powerful than Gorse. Um Legendary Six Island Mirai Shien, I wouldn't be surprised if this card went up to three. No surprise. You know, as long as Gateway is banned, that's fine. Eventual Troll Hire. I said this one in the past, but I thought they were maybe gonna try to promote Necros or something with it, but no, nah, it just seems like they're gonna keep Eventual Troll Hire at two. So I if they go to three, okay, but I I don't see it. Uh next, Dragon Levine. I already talked about this card, so uh, if it goes up three, great. If it doesn't, no surprise. Uh, Sacred Sword Seven Star. I predict this card's gonna go up to three. And it didn't do anything at two. They're gonna move up to three. Yeah, you know, with Dragon Rose Bam. Uh, Temple of the Kings. Yeah, that's copying OCG. Yeah. Uh, even at three, it's still not good because you can only use the effect of Temple of the Kings only once per turn. So even if you have triple, you can only activate one trap card. So. Alright, and Exchange of Spirit, you can activate the effect of Exchange of Spirit once per duel, so they're probably going to move up to 3, just like uh, LCD. Alright, and one last message, he said, personally, I would want Necros of Trish, Prep, the Jin, all banned, the Necros would be fixed demise. I know Konami will not do that. No? You banned Trish, Prep, and the Jin. No. If you banned the Jin, you know, they're still good. Prep, they only have one, so it doesn't change much. And Trish, they only play one, so I, I don't understand how that affects, you know, they still have... You know, they're triple Valkyries, they're, tr- you know, they're double, uh, uh, Pryonic. Like, they would still be very consistent, and I've seen a handful of duels of Necros winning without summoning Trish, so, I don't even know. Because literally, that's all you're saying. But Dijin, they can already win without Dijin locking you. Prep, that's only one card, which, you know, if they get it, then great, but if they don't, you know, it's not like Prep is at three. And Trish, you know, I've seen them win duels without summoning Trish, so I don't understand how that would fix Necros at all. You need a load of consistency. That's what you need to do. All right, so there is Flap Spoon's list, and we're like 14 minutes in. So let's go ahead and do Jory D. Um, Markov's list real quick, and then we'll go ahead and call that for part four. Like I said, uh, my band list prediction part one will be up on Monday. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So Georgie says, Banned. Vanity Soul Charge for Gaki. Ah, uh, nah, nah. Those are all cards that won. At this point, None of them have done enough to warrant the ban. Not at all. Not at all. You know, Vanius is powerful, but no. Yeah, one, no. Soul Charge, no one's even really playing that card in the Geki. I doubt it. I doubt it. At this point, they've gotten way too comfortable with the Geki, so I doubt it. Alright, next, you have Limited. 
Uh, Denko. I have no precedence on that at all. Denko was popular in, like, last format, but this format, not as much. It's more of a side deck card. Uh, you know, uh, Shadals, who were the main culprits of running it, started running more back row, and it just hasn't been as popular as format, so I doubt it. Uh, Brio, I already talked about that. Yeah, sure. Trish, uh, no, they really only play one and two Trish, and Trish doesn't really make it. Like I said, lower consistency. Uh, Unicorn, as I said, that set precedence off of OCG, so I wouldn't be surprised if we copy them, but I'm not really sure how Unicorn affects the consistency of the deck. But, like I said, if OCG has it, then, you know, the easiest hit for us to do is just to copy them. Uh, Fire Lake. I wouldn't be surprised if Burning Abyss go untouched at all this this time. You know, they haven't been as good this format, and, uh, you know, with the last Burning Abyss of support being in Cross Souls and none of the Burning Abyss support being hit, I can easily sk see them skidding by on this list. And then Nexus Worlds, which, of course, they can't be at because OCG doesn't have Burning Abyss. And like I said, I, I can see them possibly being a deck that's good, but then ends up never being hit and then just falling out of favor, just like uh, Bootens. All right, next, Scout. Yep, I agree. Scout should definitely be hit down to one, lower the consistency, because uh, someone was commenting there just like, well, why would you hit Scout? You know, that, that would be so dumb. You know, Scout's fine at two. If Scout was fine at two, and if Burning Abyss, I mean, uh, Burning Abyss, and Cleaves were fine, then they wouldn't be doing as well as they have been doing, right? No, they arguably got the hardest hit in the last list, and they still do really. They still did really well this format. So, uh, like I said, yeah, they're probably gonna go ahead and uh, keep uh, hitting uh, Cleese, especially since they're not getting any new support. So, Scout's probably gonna go down to one large consistency. Like, I, I, I don't understand. Like, you say that. You know, Cleaves are like, oh, you know, they're not doing that great, but they're doing really well. They're, they're arguably, like, the third strongest deck, you know? And if it's not Scout, then what do you hit? You know? Sacrifice isn't banned worthy, you know? Banning, you know, we're not going to hit Lose One Turn, so that's not it. And they were doing level even before Lose One Turn, so what is it? It's clearly Scout. If we lower Scout down to one, I mean, are you really going to play triple uh, su Summoner's Art for it? You know? Think about it. So, yeah, Scout should be lower to one. Next, you have Rota to one. I doubt it. Like I said, we've gotten comfortable with Rota at one. And I think this, of course, is your, um, your Satella hit. But Satellas will probably get a direct hit. And Rota will probably stay at three just for uh, Ignites. All right, next, you have Mathematician. Uh, you know, in the OCG, they hit Mathematician down to one. Uh, math wouldn't be a terrible hit. I, you know, especially copying off the OCG, I wouldn't be surprised if they go ahead and hit math. Uh, Curry Bandit, on the other hand, is not as popular, but math, math has been putting out work with, you know, Burning Miss and Shadows. So, uh, if they want to go ahead and copy OCG and put Mathematician down to one, that's fine with me. You, you put Mind Crash, it's Mind Crush, but yeah, I get that. Construct, yes. Free my nigga Stratos, I, I give up on him. I seriously, I give up on him. I guess he's just going to be part of the band, whatever. Uh, Demok, no. We don't even have, like, the errata version of it yet, so no. And Cast Emperor Dragon, no. We don't have a preprint for him either, so they're both going to stay banned. All right, semi-cards, none. Wow, you have n you can't think of anything that should be semi-limit? I can think of a handful of things. I mean, semi-limit is probably, like, my shortest on the list, but damn, okay. All right, so next uh, you have unlimited. You have a handful. You have uh, Advanced Ritual Art. already talked about that. Grand Mole, already talked about that. Hornet, already talked about that. Trav, already talked about that. Chaos Stars, already talked about that. Dinosaur, no. Dinosaur has to stay at one because it loops. So, literally, whenever you would discard, a, you know, a flip monster, you get a flip monster. So, it would make, uh, that point, you're a limited animal because you go Snipe Hunter, pitch, uh, Night Assailant, grab Night Assailant. You know, all your card, all your card, like, you know how a Sinister Serpent was bad because it, it would make cards costless? This would pretty much loop. It would pretty much loop, so... Uh, Night of Silent needs to stay at one. Uh, go up all but I already talked about that. Sinister Sharpen. Uh, yeah, that can go up to three. Just like an LCG is copying an LCG. Uh, Exchange of Spirit, I already talked about that. Temple of Kings, I already talked about that. Dark Fire, I already talked about that. Shion, I already talked about that. Dirkus Sword of Seven Star, I already talked about that. Necroface, no, I'll stay at two. Uh, Dark Hole, no. It's just, just too much destruction, like, uh, I thought they were probably gonna move it up to three last time, and they didn't, so, I think Konami, TCG is happy with two Dark Holes, one Regeki, one Trentle. I think that they're fine with that. Uh, then he says, that's my only opinion. Don't judge me much. And if you don't want me to judge you, I mean, you shouldn't have put it on here. I'm not really judging you. I'm just giving my opinion of it. You know, everybody gives their opinion. You know, for all I know, I'm fucking wrong. And they put not selling up to three. But, you know, it's not, I'm not judging you. I'm just giving my opinion about your opinion. So, simple as that. 
I guess that's not common judging. I don't know. But my thoughts don't change anything. You know? I think that they're going to fucking put, like, fucking Chaos Emperor Dragon 3. Like, no. <laughs> no, that's never going to happen. But, you know, I try to think logical, uh, set precedents. Uh, yeah. So, I'd say that this is it, that this is part four and this is it. Uh, like I said, if there's any more comments or anything, I'll respond to them in the comment section below. But uh, I'd say the only card that I'm probably going to slap on my list that I probably forgot is uh, Mathematician. You know, Mathematician has been putting a lot of work, especially with, uh, you know, Shadows and Burning Abyss, and we already had set precedence from the OCG, so, uh, and it's not like Mathematician doesn't warrant the hit. It's a very powerful card, uh, being able to send any level uh, four lower, so. And when it's destroyed the battle, draw a card. It's a very powerful card. So, uh, yeah, I'd say out of all the cards, I'd probably put that on my list as well. So, yay, another card on my list that's limited. Holy crap, my limited list is long. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, taking the time to participate and do this, everybody. This is, uh, this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. And every single time there's a band list, you guys always take the time to do it. And I'm sorry I'm so long-winded I like to talk a lot, but I wanted to go ahead and get this done. So, uh, like I said, my uh, ban list prediction will be up on June 1st, part 1, because uh, part 2, i got to wait for the OCG ban list, and then like as soon as I see the OCG ban list, which of course they get their ban list before our ban list, I'll go ahead and do part 2, and uh, then hopefully part 2 combined with part 1 will be like the closest I can get to predicting what the TCG is going to do for this upcoming list in hopefully July. Like I said, they still haven't put anything, but I, I think it's going to be July. It's been three months. It's going to be after Nationals. It's going to be a list for Worlds. It just makes sense. It makes sense. That's going to be July. You know, last time it was like July 13th, I want to say, because it was like they wanted to do it after Nationals, just like this time. So Nationals is like late June. So July 1st would be the most practical date. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that for part four. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, you're watching on the screen. You're watching UAs. I'm going to be moving UAs to... Um, what day? Sunday. I'm taking off Cyber Dragon, and I'm going to be putting on a deck to replace uh, UAs as a single deck for uh, when it comes to daily duels and single duels, so I can run back and stuff. I'm still trying to think what deck I want to put there. I was thinking about maybe returning Yusenju just because, you know, Yusenju I've been doing. Uh, pretty well and you know when I was running it before I wasn't running it properly I was running I was trying to be cute with it but you know they're obviously much more anti-meta deck so maybe trying more anti-meta method but to do an anti-meta version of the deck I gotta do against anti-meta which I mean I have to do against meta which is not guaranteed so I'm not sure about that the other deck I was thinking about trying is Ritual Beast but I don't know I don't really know how to play that deck like literally whenever I see anybody do with that they just do the Kama Hot combo and I really feel like the deck does more than that but I have no idea, so I'm still gonna think and debate on which deck I want to go ahead and put there in that spot on uh, Fridays. But like I said, we're probably gonna be moving UAs over uh, not ne not this week, but next week because obviously I'm not gonna give you double UA. You're already sitting here watching UA, so while I move UA over there to tag duels and daily duels, so you'll probably get one more Cyber Dragon deck, and then the week next week we'll go ahead and do the deck profile for Cyber Dragons and slap UAs as a tag deck on Sunday. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And like I said, look forward to the, my part one balance prediction going up on Monday, June 1st. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Uh, I was going to end this video, but then another person named Ron Stanley Gray and Tiago both commented. And I was like, oh, well, uh, Tiago, well, I'll just do it in his tag video since, you know, he doesn't talk. So I'll just talk about his list in his video. But this other guy, Ron, I need to go ahead and hear his list because... You know, most of us are basically on the same track mind when it comes to uh, this upcoming list, mostly. But this man Ron here, man, I, I gotta go over this real quick because don't, don't, don't crucify Ron, guys. Don't look. He's tied to his opinion. I said I wasn't gonna judge or criticize anybody, but Ron, come on, man. So let's go over Ron's list real quick, and let's, then we'll just end this video. I apologize if it's split up like this. So uh, Ron for banned. He has nothing. Okay, limited. He has. Dragon Rulers, all of them, including babies. So, whoa, wait, wait, Ryan, let me get this straight. Not only are we going to unban the Dragon Rulers that we just banned, but they're going to be stronger than they were previously were, because previously they were at one and the babies were banned. But now, them and the babies are going to be at unbanned and be at one. Don't that sound so dumb? <laughs> I'm sorry. That did, no, no. 
you know, the general rules are going to stay banned. Like, there's really no point for them to be unbanned at this point, you know. If they want to go ahead and keep them banned, then a lot of them or something like that, then go ahead. But no, like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. No, the general rules are going to stay banned. Like, I, I don't know what's up with you, but with the, like, yeah. Just unban the dragon rulers and make them stronger than they were before. Genius. No. All right. Nova. I already talked about that. Construct. I already talked about that. Giant Trunade or Harpy Feather Duster. Um, neither. Neither. <laughs> you know. We're much more conservative deck. And at this point, we are definitely already used to uh, not having the mass destruction. You know, it wouldn't be Giant Trunade or, or Harpy Feather Duster. It would most likely be Heavy Storm. Is so they can at least have the, you know, the... Double edged sword, but you know, Harpy Feather Duster, no, Giant Trunade, definitely no. So, you know, like, Giant Trunades in the hand of like Teller Knights and stuff, like, no, no, no. In the hands of fucking Yasenju, awesome. Like, no. And Rescue Cat, no, 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 Rescue Cat's fucking busted. Like, Rescue Cat, you summon two beasts, uh, it tributes to the graveyard, its effect doesn't have to be once per turn, it is literally a one card turn of Like, no, Rescue Cat's fucking busted. Like, nah, Rescue Cat can stay banned. Alright, next, you have uh, Summer Limited, you have Summoner's Art, no. Just go ahead and hit uh, Scout. Like, there's no reason to go ahead and hit Summoner's Art when Scout's the problem. Like, literally, if we hit Scout down to one, are you really going to run triple Summoner's Art for one Scout? And, what, one Monolith? No, I don't think so. So, yeah, just hit, just hit Scout. You don't have to hit uh, Summoner's Art. Uh, it's Diffusion at two. Like, that, that's really that's really weird that you put it to two out of all things to put it to. Like, two? Why two? Like two doesn't change anything. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna do anything with this region, it should be at one. You know, it doesn't have set percentage from the OCG, but that's just a better number. Like we have two insta fusions, that's still very powerful. So no, especially with Noden. I'm assuming you're hitting it because of Noden, but no. Nah. Alright, next Altair and Deneb, like I said, you don't need to hit Altair and we don't have any precedents on hitting Altair. Deneb at two, I think well, like I said, will be a fine intro hit to uh Teller Knights. Like I said, I think Deneb to two and Trib to one will be fine intro hits. Uh Compulse no, no. Call Pulse can stay at one. I talked about this. All of them. All of them. Think about it. They're all in the same boat. Bombless, Compulse, Torrental, Warning, Ring of Destruction. They're all. They're all in their own little boat. So no, no. Uh, Galaxy Cyclone. Nigga. What? What? Hello? Why Galaxy Cyclone? Galaxy Cyclone's not even that good. MSC is better. Still. Like. No. No. And especially since he just came out in Cross Solar, they're gonna put it down. Like no, no. Shadal Faka. Nah. That's not the problem with Shadal. It's definitely not. Yeah. You gotta hit you gotta hit their fusion. You either gotta hit their fusion, like construct, or hit their cards that make their fusion. Yeah. So I'm assuming that they win both ways with instead of hitting Shadal Fusion, which of course most of the time when you Shadal Fusion you go for Construct, if they hit Construct and they hit Elstral Fusion, they kinda hit both routes. They hit you know, both routes. So I guess they're like, hey, you know, if your opponent has extra deck monster, I guess it's fine, but as long as you don't go into construct all the goddamn time, you know? Uh, Dragon Queen, all right, all right. So let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Not only are we going to bring the Dragon Rulers back, but they're going to be stronger than they were before because the Dragon Rulers will be at one, including the babies who were previously banned, and Dragon Ravine will be at, at two when it was previously banned. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. No, not at all. And Rescue Abbey. Rescue Abbey is fine at one. No. Let's grab, I mean, Dino Rabbit is still powerful. Lucky is still powerful. No. Uh, Rescue Rabbit, summoning two cards from deck, is just super powerful. All right. And then you have Unlimited. And there's Six Samurai Shen. Yeah. Blah, blah. Yeah. All right. So there we go. There's Ron's list. Hopefully, uh, I don't get any more comments. Because, I, like I said, this is already part four. And, and I put Tiago's and Tiago's video and then my prediction. Like I said, this video will be deleted off of YouTube soon. So you guys can stop commenting. Because if you put, if you guys put up a list, then, you know, I don't know what to do. I know. And and also, I couldn't, re I couldn't, re I could have simply replied to Ron if I could. Like, everybody has a reply. But for some reason, I'm not sure if Ron didn't connect his account to, to Google Plus or something. But I, I can't reply to him. So... There you go, Ron. I gave my opinion about your list, and uh, I didn't mean to just, you know, uh, criticize you or just stick you out there to die or, you know, flame you, but God, come on, like, no, no, like, uh, this seems more like a wish list than a prediction, like, how do you, how do you predict, how do you predict the Dragon Rulers coming back and being stronger than they were before, like, doesn't make any sense, like, okay, okay, like, nah. All right, so... Now, it's the end of the video, so now this video is a little bit longer, I apologize. But, uh, yeah. 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we should be done. See you guys tomorrow with the Omega Cats and uh, Slate using uh, products. All right, people. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.